What's up everybody? We're here and uh, we're gonna learn how to use these things, RV. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, we are camping right now using my girlfriend's family's RV and it was it's pretty interesting you know I've never been in an RV before to be honest and uh, he showed me a lot of things everything that you had to do uh, to get things ready in, in an RV and it's actually not that bad some people say it's quite a lot of work but it really depends on the type of RV you have and um, you know maybe when I go on tour I can go on tour in an RV uh, instead of flying around everywhere so yeah it's pretty fun and hopefully on the way home I get to drive it and I get to practice um, so yeah stay tuned out here chilling in this beautiful lake what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Pretty cool. So we just got back from RV camping. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty exciting. I got to uh, drive that big old RV. It was the 36 footer. It was challenging at first because I've never really driven anything that big. Uh, there's a few things you have to watch out for when you're driving a really big vehicle like that such as the branches uh, you're more aware of the, the branches from the trees on the street sometimes they can scrape the outside of the RV if they're not trimmed properly or if you're driving too close to those trees also you have to be mindful of how wide the road is sometimes they're very narrow if you're driving through very small towns or windy roads you have to be very very careful that you don't go off uh, the road because that can actually damage your wheels and your axles and uh, you know it can be you can be in really big trouble if you damage the wheels and uh, yeah you and now I kind of get it you know sometimes you're going on a, on a long trip and then there's this big vehicle it can be a truck or an RV that's just holding up the line and cars be you know they they pile up behind that big vehicle and now i understand why because they can't just make those really sharp turns uh that cars can easily make and you have to you know slow down and uh, make sure you don't go off the road or you don't tip the vehicle and also braking you have to brake well you know well in advance you have to predict uh the stop signs you have to predict the curves and you have to break uh, again uh, well in advance but the more uh, I drove the longer I was in the driver's seat I was able to kind of gauge uh, the turn and how fast I can go in that turn uh, so that was you know it, it was pretty fun actually driving that big vehicle it's just that you can't really think and assume that you can do what you can uh, in, the, in a regular vehicle so hopefully in the future I can you know take that thing out for a spin spend a couple of days out and uh you know live the rv lifestyle so if you enjoyed this short vlog if you have any experiences with rvs definitely drop them in the comments below if you have any questions drop them in the comments below make sure you subscribe 
Rebel Vision, peace.